started in like two minutes. Go ahead and just turn that shit all the way down. Your whoa, hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, cyberspace? This your boy, Crypto Bruh, coming back again with another daily update. I'm only doing this stuff on the weekdays, um, and I'm gonna try to keep it, you know, short, simple, and sweet. Uh, and I'm also gonna keep the same fucking titles going forward because this is more gang over here and uh yeah we we just talking about more token just to put everybody on to the perspective so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it uh and just so you know i am not a financial advisor i'm just a producer slash crypto enthusiast that you know i guess 
I'm going to deliver the information now. Um, I've been making YouTube videos since like 2019, but I'm back in action. So, you know, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit all the buttons and bells and all that stuff that you need to. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Where is it at? Bam. So, you already know, I got the more token up right now. Just going to do some technical analysis for those out there that aren't charting the the token we we charting it already okay because i'm watching it i'm i guess i'm probably the only person watching more tokens sometimes it feels like um but it's doing great right now so what we're looking at is the 15 minute um and kind of my indicator setup i got going right now is uh i have four four <laughs> uh, moving averages i like to use the eight day moving average the 21 i have a hundred and then um, I'm rocking a 271 because I got one more day up than Trey on his 270, just to make sure that I'm I'm on I'm spot on. Now um, I'm also rocking the RSI. That's one of my favorite indicators. Um, you know, if you're new to charting and you're trying to get into this, um, I definitely recommend utilizing the RSI. Some people use the MACD. That one's pretty chill or whatever. But I've been in crypto since like 2017 now, heavy. Um, and the RSI has never failed, especially when you're looking at lower time frames. It can help you understand whether or not, you know, something's a good trade or not. So we're looking right here. We got a little bit of upward momentum. We're getting above some of these moving averages. Uh, but, you know, who knows? Um, you know, it looks like we have a lot of sell pressure. It's all happening because of the airdrops. People get airdropped a free token. First thing they're going to do is sell that shit. So um, the best part about more and uh, the reason why I'm so you know excited about this project uh, compared to everything else that has come out to this to you know this moment is simply that more has the lock and hold idea built in. You know, the same thing that happened with Bitcoin, you know, except Bitcoins are still being minted. So technically it's better than Bitcoin, uh, but that's a technical concept. So what I'm trying to get at is um, all the tokens are minted. So the only tokens that are available are tokens that people are willing to put up for sale. Um, so think of this as like the shoe game, you know, and if everybody goes and buys the shoes, when you go to StockX or Grailed or eBay to buy some shit, of course, you know, it's going to be marked up, you know, if, if there's not a lot of supply. Um, and the same goes for this atmosphere uh, of cryptocurrency, because like I said, the best part about, you know, the more token is that it's from crypto influencers that are in crypto because it's the best place to be. Like, why are you anywhere else? Like the smart contract, the blockchain is where we at, bro. You should be there too. And that's all I'm trying to say. You feel me? Um, but yeah, so looking at this right now, we got the airdrop going on. We're going to have people, you know, with a lot of sell pressure because, you know, they got free money and they're going to go out there and they're going to want to dump the price down. So some would say charting at this particular time is pretty stupid. Um, but like I said, it can give you a feeling. So maybe you can catch, you know, these pumps and dumps from people you unloading their tokens because they don't believe in the project and then people buying the tokens because, like I said, all of them are minted. So the only tokens available are the tokens on the decks. Um, and then right now we got 30,000 more tokens chilling in Uniswap. It's epic, guys. Um, you know. There's 30,000 uh, three, or 36,000 in liquidity uh, within USDC. Now, something I'm hoping for. Um, here, let's go to let's go to Uniswap. So the title says how to buy uh, more tokens, right? But realistically, what I'm trying to show everybody is is how to utilize the internet to do your own research so you can get more. Um, and that's really how you get more if you didn't get the airdrop. You just got to do some more research so you can find yourself in the right place, man. Um, and let me, luckily, if you find in this and you're here, uh, if you're watching this on the flip, shout out to you. Uh, but yeah, man, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. We're going to always be pumping this positive crypto energy, uh, making sure, you know, we get this green going. Um, but yeah, we're looking at Tukin right now. I just switched over because... I don't know why this is taking so long. There it goes. Let's let it load up. But yeah, look at my token balance. I'm still holding some of my tokens. Feel me? We're still outside over here. But yeah, so if we go to Uniswap, I want to go to the Uniswap info. Why is my computer so slow, bro? Here, I probably need to throw this down. What I'm going to do. Performance mode. So probably help my GPU. 
There we go. Look at that. Much better. Um, juicy dip. Yes. <laughs> Yo, everybody be outside They're trying to blow up my my stream. We got the more uh, chats popping, though. Make sure you know you like, subscribe, you jump in the chats. We talking over there. Big crypto concepts. Um, but let's go ahead and look up the token. More. I need more. Here, I'm going to drop these two just so my shit runs a little better. So, ah, so some people are already trying to do it. Let's look at this. All right. So this is like the cool thing about cryptocurrency is that we control the idea of the liquidity. So some somebody already went over here. They put up 40 more tokens with 1.7 thousand hex um now what's unique about this right here that we're seeing is that um it's an idea uh and and i've always you know been under the impression since day one of more which was not that long ago you know that of course the liquidity will be you know started on usdc you know what i mean but like eventually other tokens will become liquidity providers for this vehicle um, and you know what we'll, we'll, we'll be able to have uh, different types of cryptocurrencies to kind of give us the realization of the value of more token and this goes back to why you know who, who wouldn't want to get into something uh, that's you know like I said backed by crypto influencers that utilize smart contracts uh, we use these things all the time um, I definitely be using smart contract all the time I even have smart contracts on Tron that like still pay me Tron and I don't even interact with them. It's pretty insane. Um, and that's how the, that's the blockchain and the blockchain is just so intuitive uh, that, you know, find yourself there. You're going to be turned to now look in here. All of the cell pressure, you see what I'm saying? The cell pressure that's happening right now. These are people that got these free airdrops. We're not we're not really too worried about them. Let's go ahead and see see if we got a dumper here. We got a dumper on our hands. So again, going back to it, if you're trying to do your own research to get some more tokens because you didn't get the airdrop, always good to go and check out and see, you know, what's going on in the ether space. Uh, let's see if this person's a trader or if uh, they're a hater. Hopefully they're just a trader. Uh, they traded all of it. Let's see. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Oh, they transferred the more over to here. All right, we got to go back. We got to start digging in. This is probably a believer that is just selling just because. So here they are. Damn. But this is the beauty of blockchain. So to, to go back to the to the idea right now, um, the blockchain helps you see transparency of transactions, of file sends basically right like that people say transactions but what are we really sending right we're sending data we we transferring files right and like cryptocurrency is essentially a valuable file and that's why i'm like into nfts i'm gonna show my nft real quick make sure you get yourself some fan gangs that's what you see uh as my avatar it's a little fangster beautiful brand we'll talk about that one day um but going back to it like uh yeah cryptos are valuable because of that we are data in the ether and you can put value on digital data now eScan is a beautiful way for you to go out there and research you can find that kind of data and and like i said more token if you don't know what you're trying to do you know use it to find the next move you know like or use it to learn about something else so just like how i can look up somebody dumping anybody can do that um and even if you send the tokens to another wallet to dump it it's just still traceable which is cool because like i said you can watch i'm not too worried about this person they still hold in a lot of more you know i don't know what their life calls you know sometimes life calls and you got to cash out and there should be nothing wrong with cashing out everybody has the right to cash out now if you cash out after someone else man i don't know what to say to you <laughs> be earlier next time or something you know um but yeah like a uh, e-scan great way for you to do some chain analysis make sure that you know you're getting yourself into a proper project bro don't put yourself in a bad scenario um we can look at some of those in a second but yeah you'll see here uh more is looking strong as long as i don't see someone with a wallet this big dumping right now then i know we're doing something right 
Um, so when, when we see, you know, like I said, some of these bigger wallets, you know, deleting themselves, we want to see like that was number 69, which is sold to, to dump the price to dollar nine. So Mr. 69, great troll. Um, I love it. I, I love the position that you're holding. Pause. Um, yeah. So oh, let me pull up my thing. Let's read the chat. See what's going on over in chat land. So time to pay attention and become a moron. Shout out Hex and more. What's up, dude? That's a fact, though. It is time to pay attention and become a moron. Um, not to say you're stupid, but you are the smartest person on the planet that is dumb enough to buy this project. So you might as well jump on this bandwagon and be part of these gains. And like I said, this ain't financial advice, bro. I'm a producer, DJ, crypto dude, like, I don't know what's gonna happen. I can't predict the future and I'm a crystal ball. All I do is read charts and feel vibes. Perfect vibe going on over here at Team More. Now, like, uh, let's go ahead and zoom out real quick. And, and another thing to think about too, just to keep putting the, the positives on top of on top of this token. I seem to be the only person talking about it besides Travon and, and the homie uh, AI CG. He, he going in, he got, CG got like the special way of, of articulating how epic more is and like his artistic articulation just elevates the way that you think about the placement of more and how more has been placed in reality you feel me so i really like the way that he'd be putting his spin on it me i'm just trying to you know i'm wearing the green bucket right now you know what i'm saying i'm feeling like we we re, we are rebranding the color green right now you see green you think of more Okay, you see green, you think of crypto. That's, and then when you think of crypto, you know, you're not going to be thinking about no orange Bitcoin because who wants to be orange, bro? Green all the way, aliens all the way. Um, but yeah, let's get back into it. So we're looking right now at the eight hour on more. Um, the eight hour has been, been pretty nice. I've been drawing this stupid line like this line is going to do something. Um, but here, let's just keep uh, let's just keep it up. It's a good trade tactic. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you see a good, if you see a line, line it up you know what i mean um who knows what's gonna happen you know but uh, i always thought that more had a really good support right here at a dollar um it started at 10 cents so a dollar was like the 10x from 10 cents um but at the same time the foundation of the the 10x um is gonna be a lot of crypto influencers and crypto people and also there's not a lot of coins so there's a lot of factors that play into this this solid dollar um because of the way the liquidity started and uh more started with ten thousand usdc inside of the pool there's actually a second more pool that has liquidity trapped inside of it i think it's this one is it this one Here, let's see see more is it this one i don't know which one it is i think you can see it on the on the tracker t on the all there's lists let's see. so it's like more one and then like more two it's hella crazy all right let's get on page one let's see it yeah so right here so this is the one that everyone's trading right now with the thirty thousand. but there's like another one um or some more oh it looks like it's fluctuating right now maybe maybe they they've tapped into it I hope some trades are going from it. So some people are interacting with it. One person, a couple of people. So yeah, there's two more uh, LPs right now. I don't know how that happened. I, I know that when it first launched, the LP wasn't allowing people to add liquidity. So then another one came about, um, but both of them started with 10K. So essentially 20,000 USDC went up when more was released. Um, but only 10,000 of that 20,000 was actually tradable. Um, and that's what most people are trading off of now, uh, which is now has, has accumulated 20,000 extra because it started at 10. So this is, a, a another reason why for me, at least I'm feeling like this is a pretty solid bottom for more. If it dumps more, <laughs> that's some, that's somebody who got an airdrop and as a non-believer is, is definitely somebody we want to shake out. So, you know, I hope they dump please the, fa the faster you do it the, the, the better for everyone um but yeah this is more stream so i'm just talking about more today 
Um, and like I showed you that little caveat, this is this is blowing my mind because I'm sure as hell that this is gonna get popping. And if and if more slash hex liquidity pool gets going crazy, y'all, like that's gonna be dumb or wild. Like imagine a world where not only are you getting the hex gains, but you're getting the more gains too. And it's only because we are trending with hex as it rises because the hex more pool is one of the biggest pools when pulse drops. You know what I'm saying? You, you're you're rocking here with your boy Crypto, bro. And I'm I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just spitting what I see. And I didn't even know they started this, but I thought about it. I was like, let me go to let me go and see, you know. And and I can show you this, right? Like we already know Travon has hex. Just go to Tukin, and you can add up all the hex in every single contract if you want, because each one of them are gonna have a certain amount. I think it's like somewhere around seven hundred thousand. I wish uh, we could switch the UI so you could like see it over here. But like for instance, Hex 2. Hex 2 has a total balance of 458,000 Hex. And then in staked world of inside of it, it, had, it, most of it is staked. Pretty much all of it is staked, you know? And you see when people stakes in, they pull out and that's pretty much it. Me personally, I'm still in Hex Max. Um, Hex Max has always been my, oopsies, it's Hex Rise. Hex Rise is cool too, but the, the problem with Hex Rise is that uh, the price only goes up, uh, you know, and then the out rate goes up too, and that kind of like messed this one up. But, you know, shout out to everybody that's still in it. They holding it down. As you can see, literally everybody that's inside of a, a token contract is fucking staked. So it's pretty hilarious to me when like hexagons be tripping on more or on Travon because they're just missing the, the deal of a lifetime like literally the guy who onboarded a ton of people created his own token and it's the same speculation bro I'm just being a speculator alright what is he gonna do with the hex <laughs> what are they gonna do with the hex man two of the biggest hexagons two of the biggest hexagons alright we got CG we got Travon and then you got the fucking squad bro oh my god dude I've I got a little hex in here tied up. Here, I'm not I'm not afraid to show this because I actually did this all for a reason. So like in 2020, when my hex max stake uh, was entered, um, I entered it uh, for big payday, right? So we'll see down here is my little he my my hex stake, right? So I did it on day 327. Um, and what I was thinking was like, man, I just had a my older sister had a knee or a, <laughs> my older sister had a daughter, so I just had a, a niece, you know. And I was like, yo, if they're talking about Hex being a vehicle for 15 years, then I should be able to stake like a principal of, of under 15,000 Hex for 10 years for my niece. And that should hopefully appreciate into something I can give to her, you know, when she graduates from high school. So I made this stake. And then like, you know, this is what got me in, you know, and if it wasn't for Hex Max, I probably would have not gone even deeper into hex because hex max i only put hex inside because it was giving me you know liquid hex while i discovered what hex was and i only staked the hex here because it was a big dip payday and i was like yo i can get big payday and i can get the extra inflation from minting my own rewards or my own tokens and then i can get you know whatever is you know coming off of this and, and this is like, I'd be pulling hex off of here on the regular. So this might be like maybe a month's worth of hex. Maybe not a month, maybe like, yeah, maybe like three weeks, like every, maybe like three weeks ago, I withdrew, withdrew from here. And this is with a small balance, you feel me? Like I, sometimes I wanna go bigger, but, or I wanna go back in, um, but it, it's just, you know, unless more people get behind it, it's not really smart uh, for the people that are inside of it. We are kind of like the 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 motor motor oil <laughs> in the engine, so uh, it's moving for us. But it, you know, for others to come, it, it it's not necessarily a Ponzi, but the mathematical way for it to accelerate, you would need others to come behind you. So that's why I can feel Trevon when when he doesn't want to really promote the Tukin contracts because you're gonna get wrecked if you don't understand uh, how smart contracts work. Uh, and that's kind of like a high level overview of like hex max bro like that's just one dude there's 
there's still more there's more um but going back to why i'm even talking about this like i imagine when people start ending their hex stakes here and then putting it here you know it's just a thought you know it's not there's only 1000 hex in, in this pool right now 40 more 40 more currently right now um you what is that i don't i can't do the math too fast but more is very cheap in hex or it's very expensive in hex <laughs> what's up chat uh still chilling chilling well hey if y'all chilling shout out to y'all for chilling make sure you like and subscribe um if you find this content valuable this your boy crypto bro and i'm just trying to spit facts on more we're talking more talk token here um you can click the the description we got more token go and claim your tokens if you haven't yet it was a free airdrop to uh people who have subscribed to Trevon's uh patreon and youtube and other crypto heads that are just we've just been out here um but yeah man uh going back to the hex max concept you know like i said do not get into this if you get into this get you have to go into it knowing that you're gonna lose until more volume picks up or into more stakes end. So there's a lot of, I mean, this needs to be polished. I wish there was a site to show us how many, um, you know, stakes end. Uh, I feel like this is definitely a new idea that never got its attention, like the right attention. Everybody blew it off, but it's still working. 29 months later, but we still out here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's see how Hex is doing. Let's, let's look on trading view first before we look on deck scan. So looks pretty good to me. Look at this. <gasps> Look at this. So we're using the uh, 21 and the 8 over here on uh, Trading View. If I'm not paying for that shit, uh, so I'm only using two moving averages. And I like to use, like I said, micro frames um, just for the, my personal idea of tracking. So uh, all right, see, what I mean by that is basically my moving averages are going to be micro style and I look at higher time frames. So I'm looking at a weekly idea to see the reality of my personal situation. And I already knew that we was rolling over, bro. Like I knew that this was all happening, but I, I did, you know, do pretty good in this last run here. Um, currently, Hex is sitting on top of that eight day moving average. Now, this is pretty cool to see, you know what I'm saying? um sometimes when it when this type of event occurs on the chart especially on the weekly chart we just gotta look left and we can see here that the last time that this happened back in july july 18th to be exact so you know we are moving into a newer month um and we could just be finding balance before september uh you know and i'm, I'm pretty bullish on crypto i'm not extremely bullish on the turbulence um uh, or i i guess i should say that i'm, I'm bullish on on turbulence to get us to a higher rate in crypto um but i know that there's going to be some turbulence like we're not done we haven't seen max pain yet um being someone who's in nfts people are starting to buy nfts again um that's kind of a top signal to me like all right let's try it one more time usually when it's when it's you know not a, in the middle of where, where we're going it's kind of a sign that you know we're, we're not done selling but like i said sometimes um if we can come up and grab this eight uh, day moving average, we can see an uptrend. So, you know, it came down. We're like testing it right now on the weekly, um, but hopefully we get one of these going on. Um, you know, we get a, a nice reversal, but if not, you know, it tends to, you know, reverse down. So, you know, we are, we will see if, if we actually are right here. We're gonna go down a little further. Lowest I think hex will go though is two cents. I don't think it will get to one cent not enough sellers you can actually do a lot of uh data on hex let's look at the daily stats see the pool real quick let's see what the pool looking like but let's see what the pool looking like man damn can y'all hear my song i got two viewers it's lit Don't ever touch a black man's radio, boy. What's up, y'all? Make sure you like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. It's a quick one. Um, so I'm just going to talk about just a little bit more. I'm going to shut this shit down. Like Chinatown. 
But yeah. I'm gonna go back over here, daily stats. So, like I said, um, there's no pun intended. This is how you, you get more tokens when you don't get an airdrop. You go out on the internet and find tokens or find crypto projects to get interaction from or with. Um, and if you can't do this, right? Maybe, maybe this is too complex for you right now. Maybe wait. Maybe wait until it's easier. Now, is that gonna be too late? Sure as hell feels like it. Sure as hell feels like you should try to learn this hard learning curve. Um, but yeah, man, we're looking at these daily stats. So let's look at the hex pool real quick. We got, so hex has, aw, aw. All right, so hex has 249 million hex uh, uh, in the liquidity right now. So that's how much liquid hex is available. Only 2 million liquid. Now that's the queer crazy dynamic of, of hex that is better than Bitcoin. Bitcoin only has 21 million coins. And this is what I want people to start thinking about if you're gonna be watching crypto, bro. Uh, I'm throwing it at you in the real estate possible. So some people are gonna hit you with Bitcoin is like the legendary crypto. So you gotta rock with that shit, um, which you should, you know, but now there's new cryptos, new tools for you to like learn how to do the dope shit. So um, Hex is better than Bitcoin because Bitcoin is only 20 million max supply but inflates when mined by miners from transactions right now um bitcoin exists but it doesn't fully exist yet and it only gets harder to exist which is a great idea you know when you want to make like a store value to say it's scarce um but it's not the best idea in my opinion when you think of like how much is on the market though you know um and that's what i really like about hex Hex does have a high inflation of tokens, but from what you can see, majority of the time, there's roughly only, I mean, in a, in a boom, like in a, in, when it's booming, actually not, because we're in a bear market, so now there would be more Hex than, than before. So currently, this is like high for Hex. I think the most I've ever seen in the liquidity pool, maybe it's like 500 million Hex, and that was back when Hex was like one cent vibes. So, um, as what I'm trying to get at basically is that hex is better than Bitcoin because in a liquidity concept or in, a, in an inflation concept, it's it's more rare. So one person can come and wipe it all out, but ain't nobody gonna come and wipe out Bitcoin like that. And plus, you gotta find all the Bitcoins because it's not as decentralized. When you think of where where can I get it, it's very centralized to get Bitcoin on that level. So I'm sorry, hex is better than Bitcoin, and then so is more. More is better than all this shit. Because when you break down more into the liquidity idea, right? Um, more has less than everyone and all the tokens are already minted. So you don't have to worry about hidden inflation. It's already all minted. Every single more, 21.1 million minted. I don't know, man. The sky's the limit over here. That's all I'm saying. But... You know, I got a big bag of Hex. You know, I, uh, Hex definitely showed me that crypto has more technology that is available that people are blatantly lying about that don't exist. So definitely check out you check out some Hex, you know what I'm saying? You could buy the, the dip right now. Um, we're looking here on Dex uh, Scan. I don't really like this chart. Here we could pull up the real chart. That's how OG I am. Real OGs go to Uniswap Vision. Let's pull this up real quick. I'm finna get up out of here. Go to the gym. Get swole on real quick, you know what I'm saying? That's how we do. But yeah, look at this. This one's crazy. So, yeah, over here I'm charting like wildness. And, um,. Yeah, I think I have to go to the monthly to see these cables. Is that where, is that where I drew, drew this? We also rocking with the log. Oh yeah, this is a crazy ass chart that I made, yo. It's a blessing I'm sharing it with you guys. So let's turn this off. Turn this on. All right, nah, it's still weekly.
Um, So I drew these lines on my moving averages. Uh, yellow and red is gonna be 21 and the 100. Um, and I did this as a relatable idea for Bitcoin. Basically, this 100 just showed up on the weekly. And um, if, oops. And if you're an OG <laughs> in the space and you already know what time it is, just look left. Just look left, find the oldest chart you can find, and just look left. So I did that same exact thing here. Meep. Meep. As you can see, looking left here. Just looking left. All right, let's zoom out some more. I think, yeah, this is when Bitcoin was mad cheap, bro. Yo, what up? What up, Dior? We over here. We educating about more token. Get you some more. But yeah, we're looking at the weekly right now on Bitcoin. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna show you something that's pretty fucking epic. So this looks just like Hex. This is the very beginning of Bitcoin. All right, this is a 2011, 2012 January. And then May of 2012, right? That was like the last time you could find yourself. Hey, what up, Ninja? What up, what it do? But yo, this was the last time you could find yourself buying Bitcoin for dollars, bruh, for dollars. And and when this moment happened, this is when, oh shit, I don't even have the right shit. Hold on, let me, let me do it. So this is something I discovered on my own. I keep a secret. I'm gonna share it with you guys. Um, cause Richard Hart always compares Hex to Bitcoin. So when I saw this, I was like, oh shit. Yeah. It says back here. Yo, this, tell me this isn't Hex right here, bro. So this moment is when is Bitcoin on the, off the boom. Right. And it's on the 21, you know, it's on that, it's on that two week pattern of on fire. And then it finally tips over somewhere around 2014 and, it, and then it has this cross in between the 100 and the 21 but after that cross happened and it had this bubble it had this very unique run up <laughs> all right so what you're looking at bruh is like i said this is the weekly on btc bitstamp all right when the 100 and the 21 cross for the first time this is hex let me turn all this shit off so right now the 21 is underneath the 100 so <laughs> i'm pretty sure you know this this little little thing we're seeing right now is nothing more than a shakeout bro like you better you better hold on to your horses look at this hex is still very new all right and like i said bro in the earlier part of the chat man I don't know what can happen here, but it's here. More hex liquidity pool. And I want more hex. Literally, I want more hex and I want more tokens. You know, and like I said, when this these stakes start ending in hex max, will they bleed over to the LP over here? And or you know, will they figure out some magical way to actually start siphoning, you know, make it easy for people to siphon their balance from here into that LP, you know? I'm just, I'm just saying, hey, hey, yo, what up, Mango? Yo, what up, throwbacks? You know what I'm saying? We're just in here chatting, talking a more, a little bit, of, talk, talking a little bit more about more. <laughs> Feel me? And connecting the dots. We're connecting the dots. That's exactly what we're doing here. And you gotta connect the dots, man. If you're if you're not connecting the dots out there, bro. I'm sorry. For, I feel I feel sorry for you because you're just like floating around in the void, like fucking lost. Like God damn, nigga grab onto something if you're gonna grab onto anything grab the grab the green thing <laughs> grab onto that green dot but yeah you see here like i said let's turn on this um this again one more time all right so going back to what my theory is is 
I have this feeling that Hex is on its trajectory to do the same thing Bitcoin's doing, right? Everybody's comparing it to Bitcoin, um, and it has the most attention. It has a lot of people that hold it. So it just has all the primed things to do the right things. And it's currently doing exactly what I thought it would do. I thought it would try to come up and test this, uh, or this is basically where I'm at with it. I think we're, we're still in growing moment and we'll see the real action in Hex um, February, 2023. So that's another thing I think too, I think everybody's all fucking hyped up about Pulse Chain, but like it's already planned, bro. Just look at the chart. like. You guys are screaming and hollering about wanting Pulse way the fuck back here. Well, shit, you should have made a futuristic chart so you could see that, hey, maybe I shouldn't ask where Pulse is until May or March of 2023. You feel me? And look, I even drew down here on my RSI. This is your boy, Crypto Brett. This is my insight jam, all right? So, um, yeah, it's all playing out exactly how I picture it, too. I feel like we need to get back under this resistance on the RSI. Um, and then that's what's going to, you know, give us that momentum to go up. But we're going to trade sideways for a little bit. You know, we're going to be underneath this chop in the waters. Very sad times. Um, so, you know, you want to find something that, you know, you can get more of. Um, so, you, you know, you can have fun while everything is just going to shit. Um, and currently, there's only 30,000 more tokens. So, it's really up to you how much more you want. Um, that, that's how many that are available, but like I said, all the fucking tokens are minted, so you're pretty much SOL if you think you're going to get any more from anywhere else, <laughs> bruh, like, you're, it's over for you, and, and there's not even that many holders, these motherfuckers are stingy, you would think at this point, at this point, more is like a very complex token, because not only is it a, an ERC-20, but it has ERC-721 uh, vibes, you know? It's the only token I can see on the block right now that's actually an NFT. Like you get some more tokens, you put a green dot in your in your Twitter, and then you know now you now you don't have to actually you know get an NFT. You know you you just put a dot there. You're you're in the crypto community, and in and you're flexing to people that only can connect the dots. If they can't connect the dots, they're not even that cool. <laughs> so technically, like I said, more is doing more for crypto than crypto is doing for itself. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I need to chill. I'm over here making this shit make sense. Um, but I'm not a financial advisor. Don't listen to me. I'm just a dude. I'm a dude. Just a dude. Hell yeah. More gang. And getting my more. Ninja said you ain't getting his more. He said it's not happening. He said don't touch a black man's radio. You're tripping, bruh. But yeah, this, this is... Uh, you know, like I said, this is just insider information from morons um, that come through to my my stream when I'm streaming. I'm going to be talking about more token and I'm going to be shape shifting the concepts of how we think about it um, so that, you know, as a community, we do have, a, a you know, a journey because we don't have a crazy journey. y'all. Like this journey going to be many. I put it on like like. We're just in the beginning stages of the craziest bull flag on the planet. And um, I can't wait for more people to get shook, shooken out. Um, hopefully, you know, you don't get shooken out on some FUD. Uh, you know, I can see this being a very natural ride. So be ready for the hiccups and the whip ups. Um, but have fun with it. It's probably going to be the best way to, to attack, you know, more. And I'm not, you know, a crypto advisor as well. I don't tell you what to do with your cryptocurrency because you, you probably have to start saying that shit on YouTube. Like, not only am I not a financial advisor, but I'm not someone who tells you what to do with your crypto. You gotta do whatever the fuck you want. Um, and the more research you do, the more diving you do, the more understanding you do, the easier it is to put the bag in, you know. And I'm tr and if you can't hear me right now about where people are gonna probably put their bag, <laughs> I mean, I've been in crypto for a minute and. I can already see the ultimate play happening. Like, dude, like, do you need, let's turn this shit off again. Like, this is Hex right now, present time Hex. This is 2015 Bitcoin. Bro, that shit went boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Bro, that shit went boop, 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 boop. Like, Oh my god. I bet everybody in 2015, I thought it was over on August 10th, 2015. I was like, man, this shit is garbage, bro. This shit 
boo, boo. They were booing that shit. And then like, boo, 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 boo. Yeah, boo your ass. Now you boo, boo in your boo hoo and I don't know. See, but this is what um um I love about being from the old school. And the old school charting was about looking left. It wasn't about predicting right. And um because I had the foundation of understanding that, I, I now have that superpower to apply history to context. And and that's why, in my opinion, this your boy crypto, bruh. I have the right context to have an opinion that Hex is doing the same thing Bitcoin is doing. And no one in the Bitcoin community can stop me because I can even mathematically map it out with your own shit. <laughs> Yo, so you're telling me Bitcoin didn't do this in 2015 and that Hex can't do this in 2023? Yeah, you get you get somebody caught up in a conundrum if you throw them up with this one. They would literally break you. Like I um I uh, I hope Richard Hart doesn't watch my streams. No, I'm just kidding. Or see this in the future. But yeah, if any hexagon sees this, show your friends. Go and get the. You got to be on the version one. In order to see this, you have to be on V1. So like, you got to be on V1 Uniswap. Uh, it's the oldest hex chart, uh, and you need to be on Uniswap uh, dot vision, because uh, it's the only place you're gonna find this older chart with all this data. So. Uh, yeah, man, this is definitely a chart though you want to look at, uh, so you can find yourself on the right side of things. It's very easy. Uh, but yeah, we're, this is my pocket. This is my pocket right here, bro. And um, all these lines are representations of uh, March twenty second. For some reason, Hex seems to do a pump in March. Every March, Hex is pumped. So in twenty twenty March, Hex pumped. In twenty twenty one March, Hex pumped. In uh, 2022 of this year, it was looking very similar, right? And I was doing the same chain analysis or chart analysis idea. I was just looking left and I was like, yo, it's March. It's potential pump time right now. So um, as you can see, we did a tiny pump, but there was a heavy resistance at 18 cents. You know, at that 18 cent mark, it, there's just a ton of sellers. And I wonder why, you know? Um, so... That's the problem with Hex right now is that Hex has some sort of other entity of control um, that's going to try to control this price before a dollar. So when they want a dollar, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't have a crystal ball. <laughs> but what I can see and speculate on is that somewhere in 2023, they at least want to get back to that original resistance line of 18 cents. So a lot of people think that Hex is going to like 30 cents right now. I'm like, not sold, bro. I'm like, yeah, this shit is definitely going to be bouncing around in this like two cent, six cent tread for the rest of the recession. And then like, we'll find something out next summer or next winter. Um, looks like a hexagon's crypto winter might be the most popping on the planet. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, this your boy crypto, bro. I've been on here for like almost an hour talking about more token and hex you know so go ahead scroll to you know the beginning here's some of my insight um i'm gonna be back tomorrow we're gonna look at the chart again we'll see where it's going pull up say what's up um you know you know throw the the green dots go out there be a cheerleader tell your family your friends about more token um figure out how you can get more people on board it um this is kind of like our portal into the crypto verse we could do whatever we want with it and uh yeah that's why i'm back man i'm back to educate this is a great educational tool and it's a way for me to also stay up on how i want you know people around me to crypto jesus hex is oversold as fuck right now on the one hour jesus but this is also a bad chart <laughs> i should be looking at a better chart all right let's go let's go back to reality guys i'm over here in my future yeah, this shit's only four cents, not five cents. Not in this reality. This shit's ugly. We'll see what happens here. So you see on this chart, this is the V2 chart. Now I'm over here looking at the V1 chart. Uh, let me turn all this off. On the V2 chart, the 100 and the 21 just crossed. On the V1 chart, um, oh yeah, and these both gotta be weeklies. Hold on, let's see. This weekly, all right. 
So real quick before I get up out of here. Um, so you'll see here on this weekly chart, it's been maybe July 4th is when the cross happened. Um, let's look on B2. So July 4th. So, okay, I guess it's moving pretty uh, singular to uh, V1. Uh, or is this the same? I don't know, man. No, uh, EB39. And this is how you do your research. So you know what the fuck you're looking at, right? Here, I can see that this is clearly a different contract. 5824. So um, this is the version three and this is version one and they're moving singular which is really good to hear too because that means that people from the old hex community still believe and they're hodling and they're not dumping and that's what it's all about you need the hodlers if you don't have the hodlers then you can't build on top of that the they hold the foundation and then eventually you try to shake them out so you know you get some free coins because you know we're going to the moon um, but you know, then they're going to be like, nah, bro. Like I ain't giving it all away. And then we're going to see right here again. Like they're going to try to shake them out again. We'll see. Uh, but we're pretty oversold. That's why I'm like, I can only see hex trading sideways right now. I don't really see it going up or down or anything. Um, but yeah, bro. That's it for me, man. Like I said, yo, this is not a financial advice. This is educational concepts <laughs> but yeah man it's your boy crypto bro i'm peacing out shout out to you for tuning in like subscribe share um and i'll see